Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? How you feeling? Welcome to this week's episode of Search and Report. Without further ado, let's get straight into the first news item of the week. This past week was a great week for the Nintendo Switch. We got a myriad of announcements for the for the console on Tokyo Game Show. And of course, uh, as you can tell by my pre previous videos, I'm excited for Hyrule Warriors Age Calamity. This is uh, remarkably the first time that Nintendo has ever been a part of the Tokyo Game Show. It's somewhat because they're still indirectly part of it. Koei Tecmo, the developers of Age of Calamity, the new game coming up for The Legend of Zelda, um, were the main developers for this game. Uh, Nintendo was only kind of like um, lending the IP to them and also collaborating very closely with them. So this game looks amazing. It, it looks extremely, extremely fun, extremely well done. Obviously, it's a Warriors game, so it's the Musu style type of gameplay. But I was thoroughly impressed by the, the gameplay uh, show that the Koi Tecmo did for Tokyo Game Show. It is. It was an extensive 40 minute presentation where they talked about any everything from gameplay obviously it was all in Japanese so there was there wasn't a lot <laughs> that could have been translated on the spot but they went over gameplay um, they released a new trailer for Age of Calamity called Champions Unite and this game just looks extremely extremely fun it looks like it's gonna be a, a very different type of Legend of Zelda game it's obviously very combat heavy it's obviously a hundred years before Breath of the Wild took place, so it's gonna be huge battles, it's gonna be epic battles, and I'm extremely grateful that Nintendo chose to go this way because they could have gone this the with the same formula of an action adventure story gameplay type of type of game, but I feel the Musu Warrior type of gameplay really really helps with what Nintendo is trying to achieve here. We got an extensive gameplay trailer um, almost 13 minutes of full-on gameplay trailer very interested to see what what Koei Tecno has been doing with Breath of the Wild I mean uh, with with uh, Age of Calamity as we know this is a prequel so any and everything that happens in this game is a hundred years before Breath of the Wild obviously there's also news that Breath of the Wild fans who have save files on the Nintendo Switch when they play Age of Calamity will get a bonus training sword it's kind of goofy looking but it is a weapon that you you get if you have the save file of breath of the wild on your system and also there is a digital version pre-order bonus for anybody who orders the game digitally um, they all get the lucky ladle this this looks very interesting it looks like a game that is very it I, it's something that nintendo hasn't really done with the mainline 3d zelda series you know lending their IP to drive the story further. Me, in my opinion, I think is a great way for Nintendo to expand their their offerings, to expand their stories, to expand their IPs, to make their IPs reach more people and, you know, not let people out on a drought of like five years waiting for the next 3D Zelda game to come out. But keep a lookout for this game. It comes out on November 20th. Get your pre-orders in now. They are they're live currently. Looking forward to see what if there's any more news regarding this game. And for our second news item of the week, we got officially a Monster Hunter game confirmed for Nintendo Switch. We got Monster Hunter Rise for the Switch which is a game that's from the mainline Monster Hunter series. It launches on the 26th of March, and it, it's a little, it plays, it, it plays with the formula of Monster Hunter a little bit differently. You do have what is now access to a dog, which is amazing in my opinion. You can never have too many dogs. Here at Nintendo Life reports, the game has been described as a brand new take on the Monster Hunter experience. Players will need to team up and save Kamura Village from the imp impending rampage, harnessing the new wirebug hunting tool and enli enlisting the help of Palicos and Palamutes along the way. Here's some PR from uh, Monster Hunter developers. This led his entry in the action RPG series finds players battling fearsome monsters and reaching new heights. 
All combat areas within each quest are seamlessly connected, allowing for exploration of the vast and vertical landscapes with no loading times. Monster Hunter Rise launches for Nintendo Switch on March 26th of 2021. Um, also, we got confirmation that there will be Amiibos for this game, which is exciting news for Amiibo fans. Um, I've been meaning to get more Amiibos, but we did get uh, a new Amiibo for Monster Hunter Rise. We got Palamute, Magnum, Magnamalo, and Palico, which unlock different special layered armors set in game. And we are also getting for the Nintendo Switch a collector's edition for Monster Hunter Rise. Here, Nintendo Europe tweeted a collector's edition of Monster Hunter Rise will launch alongside will launch alongside the game on the 26th of March of 2021. It includes a physical copy of the game, deluxe kit DLC pack download code, a Magna Mallow amiibo, a Kimura pack pin badge, and a sticker pack. Monster Hunter fans now have something to look forward to for Monster Hunter on the Switch. The game looks amazing. It looks extremely fun. I tried to play Monster Hunter World last year a little bit. I didn't quite get into it because it's not really my style, but I will say that it is a very, very fun and interesting game. Like I, It's something that you, it obviously has a, a learning curve, but once you get into the hang of it, it is a very, very fun game. So Monster Hunter fans, look out for uh, March 26th for when this game releases. And now, of course, this past week, we also had the Tokyo Game Show, which showed off a lot of things from very various developers. But most importantly, the Switch got a lot of attention. It got a lot of announcements um, as far as games go. It obviously got Hyrule Warriors. It got obviously Monster Hunter Rise, which are one of the two biggest ones coming to the Switch. But we also got Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 coming out on the 8th of December. We got Galagon Returns for 2021. We got Death Smiles 1 and 2 2021. We got Dynasty Warriors 9 Imp Empires on er, coming out early 2021. It looks like Koei Tecmo is putting a lot of their eggs in Nintendo's basket. And I will say that this is very, very exciting. Very, very exciting to be having games from Koei Tecmo. They are, they're top notch. Their games are extremely fun. They're very, very fun to play. So be on the lookout for more and more Koei Tecmo games coming out. We got a Les Collection. We got At Atelier Ryza 2 Lost Legends of the Secret Fairy coming out this winter 2020. We got DLC for Jump Force 2021 and many, many more announcements. And for our fourth news item of the week, we got finally a price. For the expansion storage for the xbox series x and xbox series s and i'm not gonna say that i'm a big fan of it <laughs> here microsoft is obviously teaming up with seagate to bring um, expansion cards for the xbox series x and xbox series s and these are uh, proprietary expansions cards they are ssd expansion cards and unfortunately, it doesn't seem that the Xbox Series X or the Xbox Series S have the ability, have the flexibility to use um, third-party SSDs on their on their uh, on their system. It, um, here, Microsoft finally listed that you know we're getting Seagate storage expansion cards for the price of $220. That is a hefty price for a one terabyte external memory solid state drive. Here the description says the Seagate storage expansion card for Xbox Series X delivers an additional one terabyte of external memory while maintaining the same peak speed and performance as the console's internal SSD. I'm imagining they have um, some engineering going on, some design inside of the SSDs that it obviously, it obviously makes it work extremely well with the system's already um, installed SSD, the internal SSD. However, I do think it's a little bit, just a tiny bit overpriced. $220 is almost the price of an Xbox Series S. And for it to just be expand, expandable memory, it's to me, it just doesn't seem like a good investment. It seems like it's a lot of money for just memory. Um, it obviously doesn't, doesn't, Xbox didn't, Microsoft didn't let, give you the ability to expand the storage using third-party external uh, uh, solid state drives. 
but I mean once we get these released up to the public I'm sure there's gonna be people who are either gonna create some sort of um, adapters or some sort of workaround to get these these SSDs to be able to work uh, with external SSD because in my opinion $220 is a little bit of a hefty price but as we all know the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S are gonna be releasing on November so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more news going forward with these expansion cards given their hefty price I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of pushback for these uh, expansion cards but we'll see we'll see what what happens I'm excited. I'm excited for gaming this year. It, it looks very, very fun. Very, very interesting. We also have rumors of a Switch Pro, but we'll we'll see on that. I don't want to. I don't want to comment too much on the Switch Pro because it's still a rumor, and I don't tend to believe rumors until they're actually confirmed from Nintendo or a big enough party that okay, or a retailer that I'm okay. It 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 needs it needs to be reported on, but looking forward we got apparently you know what, what, what was thought to be a very barren holiday season is turning out to be a very very lush luscious luscious holiday season how do you like my use of words and with that ladies and gentlemen i've been true fernie if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe links to my socials are down below please make sure to follow me on twitch where i've been recently affiliated and where any and all support is greatly appreciated please take care of each other but most importantly take care of yourself peace